I'm sure you've heard the old saying that when you build a house, you need a strong foundation. Well, having a strong grasp of the basics of composition we've covered in this course will make you a better designer. As you create any new work or revisit something maybe you've done in the past, I hope this course has taught you how to look at that work with a critical eye. The next time you see an ad or a poster or a social media post, whatever, think about the principles we've covered. The more you practice applying these concepts in your own work, the more comfortable you're going to be with them. Over time, you'll start to feel as if this knowledge is second nature to you, that you're subconsciously creating dynamic and exciting compositions. That's the goal of just about every designer. As a matter of fact, every designer, no matter what their experience, deals with the same issues as we've covered in this course. Any good composition starts with an idea or your message. Ask yourself, what is the goal of this composition? Once you make that decision, think about the size and the format of the composition. Remember that these clues are usually within your idea, so really look for them. Start to figure out shapes and lines and what purpose they might serve on your layouts. Don't forget, you can use them as a tool to achieve hierarchy and organize information. Start laying down your elements on the page and remember to make your composition dynamic and engaging. As soon as it starts to feel like it's heading toward boring, use the tools you learned here to make it more exciting. Take a look at the negative space. Does it need to be opened up a bit? Does one of the elements need to be bigger? Do you maybe need to add a bit more tension and balance into the layout? To finish up this series on composition, why not take your newly acquired skills for a spin? Jump into our exercise file and make a poster. For some final words of wisdom, go back and look at work you've done in the past and see if you can make changes to it. Create more layouts and remember to go down the list of things we covered and see how you can best combine them. You're going to be creating dynamic and effective layouts in no time.